<clears throat> Yo, what's good? Another video. Um, today I wanted to go over um something pretty interesting, a, a nice little experiment that I did, and it was um when I did semen retention for about three months, and of course you know not watching corn quote unquote xxx for those that know who don't know but yeah i tried um semen retention for three months but not only like not watching corn but also like you know not beating it not edging not touching like pretty much for three months of um you know that whole ordeal and honestly um it was it was a nice reset it was cool but honestly it didn't really change anything for me i don't think i would do it again and just hear me out right um so i just always felt this guilt you know like just like of this corn addiction that i had right and it was like, you know, I just feel like bad and I just got this like terrible feeling and it's like, oh, like, why am I doing this? Like, oh, like this is this shouldn't happen. Like, but, you know, I just wanted to give it a shot. Multiple times I've done it with like buddies. Like I've done it with one friend and I did it with this friend, this other friend. And we I did at least for three months. Um, and then we tried it again. But I'm gonna talk about the one I did for three months. Um, the first month, it was difficult. I'm talking like, like, like I said, I didn't even beat it. You know what I mean? Even just my thoughts, like I just left it alone. And I would have like um, these crazy urges, you know? Like I was being more desensitized and it was just like, it got to a point where like, shit I would see on Instagram, that would be like a trigger and I would have to get off Instagram, you know? So that first month, like, was just kind of difficult. And then, like, it ended up having, like, a a wet dream, you know? And then pretty much everything just, like, like a faucet, like a faucet of water just, just went everywhere all over the place, like, out of my control, right? And so, like... You know, it was weird. It was just really weird because, like, it translated into my dreams, right? Because I had, like, this very, like, sexual provoking dream. And then, like, I woke up and it's, like, the shit was just, like, everywhere. Like, it was, like, just just everywhere to spare y'all any details. Um, Second month, it was easier. You know, it was just, like, the... Um, not as like crazy i still had the urges but it just wasn't as crazy like i, I got used to just the, the the habits of just not doing it like the thing was it was just such a habit for me just to be in bed and like touch my dick you know what i mean but like now like i wasn't doing that so it just felt kind of weird when i would accidentally like be in bed not accidentally be in bed be in bed and accidentally like well not accidentally just just touching it in bed it felt weird because it's like it was like a a shell of a, of its existence you know what i'm saying it was just like all i used it for was just peeing i just used my dick to pee and you know i was getting more and more desensitized and then of course um i would have the wet dream again another wet dream the third month um I don't know what happened, but I just felt like these fucking urges, like it was kind of like just the littlest things, like a YouTube short would pop up and I would just be like, oh, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, like it, it was just like, I would see like a shorty, like in a gym outfit and that's what just made me go crazy. And even just going out and seeing like girls at the gym and shit, like it would be like. I'll see a girl, like, in an outfit, and, like, I'll be, like, bricked up, you know what I mean? And I was kind of, like, it translated into my conversations, too. Like, I kind of felt like I was, like, outcome-dependent on, like, trying to get a lay, 
like when I'm talking to a girl, even though like it's not even we're not even close to even getting to that point. And so like I felt like it translated a lot more on the third month into my daily life. And I think like the month four was like I think not even like much in the month four, like I just pretty much just like let it out. And I think that's when I kind of like was clear of just like any urges. Like I wasn't like this rabid dog. I wasn't I wasn't as hungry. Like that was the thing. I had this look of like hunger. Like I wanted to like I haven't eaten in like days or weeks and I needed to like pounce on the whatever was there, like whatever food I can get. Um but yeah, it's just so weird like just how I turned into like I just I turned into such a horn dog and it was just like unbelievable like how horny I was and then like after like I boom, 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 you know like it kind of just like stabilized like it was a nice equilibrium because it was just like I was, I was like here you know what I mean like I was like here in terms of horniness and then you know after I busted it was like that you know and then so now it's kind of like a nice little line you know of course when I get the urge you know but Kind of going back to um, the beginning of the video, I said that it felt like a waste of time. Um, now that I'm, I did more research on like corn addiction, and it's more so like the fact that like when I'm bored, when I'm just chilling in the house, when I'm not doing anything, when I'm not going outside, when I'm not like meeting new people, it's like that's when I start to get into that. I guess that rabbit hole of like corn you know what I mean but like when I'm out and about and you know busy and occupied with all these different things that's when it's like I, I find myself not even really wanting to do it because like it'll be like let's say I do like a 12 hour shift right and I come home and I'm too tired to even want to like like I fall asleep before like I can even get to that next stage of like wanting to watch corn. Like I just I just fall asleep. Um but yeah, and then even just like when I go on trips, like that's probably the last thing I wanna do to be honest. Like I just don't have the urge, like 'cause I I don't know, like or I just don't feel like doing it. Like, you know, I got like a whole lot of things going on we got like events to go to you know we got some like nice tours to go on you know like it's just like it's like why do I even want to do it and sometimes like if you just gotta get let that shit out just let that shit out because it's like sometimes like when you hold it in for such a long time like you're just like you could just see the hunger in your eye like I think other I think girls could probably see the hunger in your eye like how horny you are like you know what I mean like, girls can just see from a mile away that you're thirsty as hell, and it translates so fucking easily. And you might not even be in control of, like, how you look and how you come across, but it's like it's like when you know someone doesn't get laid or, like, you know when someone gets laid, you know? Like, you, you can just see it from, on their face or just on their demeanor, in their voice, in their inflection, you know? Um, But, yeah, I think... um. The misconception with like semen retention, I feel like it's like kind of taking away from the actual problem. Like, like yeah, you take it away, but like yeah, you stop doing it for like a certain period of time. But like, what's the real issue? You know, like also it's not even like healthy for men just to like not have like sex. It's a whole nother video topic to talk about, like, you know, us as men being, like, demonized for having, like, sexual urges and having, like, a healthy sex life. But I really do think it's, like, there needs to be, like, a revision on the whole semen retention, no fat movement. Because I don't think that did me any good. Honestly, like, what did me good was, like, being more social and being out there and then, like 
having a better stabilization on my urges, you know, and having a healthy sex life and all that. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's really worth it to uh, go like three months. I mean, you can do it if you want, but it's, it's just, honestly, I think it's really more just the fact that like, you're probably not doing enough and you need to get get yourself more preoccupied and, you know, have more of a social life. Because that's where I found myself at. Trust me, like, I had a pretty bad issue with it. Like, I had a huge issue with corn. But I think it's, like, at bay right now. Especially now that I'm being more active and going out more and keeping myself occupied and, like, chasing my purpose and, you know, all of that. But anyway, that's what I kind of want to talk about. Um, but yeah, Lonely Lifter vlogs, you know, that's just what I had to say.